UCMMA is sponsored by Silka Carpets. Dominate the ground you walk on with a Silka Carpet. Name's Ash Beedon, fighting out of South West London, now living in Enfield, fighting out of Supreme Kickboxing and Boxing MMA. I'm Sel, 30, from North London, fighting out of Team Thompson. No problems going forward, hellish sparring, every week, all week, six hours a day in the gym, I'm ready for war. I've been basically making sure that I haven't got much, as little holes as possible in the game. I really hope you've been training, mate, because if not, you're going to have a hellish time in that cage, there's only one geezer leaving every time, so. Bring your pillow, mate. I ain't coming for points, I'm coming to win. I'm coming to war, so be ready. Gentlemen, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts fighting in the welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, we're in the black and blue trunks. He weighed in 75 kilograms. Make some noise for Sal Harriet. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, we're in the black, white, and red trunks. He weighed in 74.9 kilograms. Representing Team Supreme, here is Ashley Baden. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, third man in the cage is Lee Fullen. The fighter finding out of the red corner has got blue shorts on, and the fighter finding out of the blue corner has got red shorts on. So just try not to get confused during this fight. Nice low kick from Sel, big right hand from Ashley. Ashley Beaton came out with a one-eyed balaclava on. Ski masks, that thing. There, oh. Eats the shot. Cell moves forward. Ashley fires the knees. They tangle up high. Cell with a big suplex. Oh. Puts his opponent that to the was canvas. Lovely. He wants to take his back here and get his hooks in. You can see that. Nope. Controls well though, Grant looks to control those hips, keep the fight to the canvas, good work by Ashley, gets to his feet. Ashley. And this, I mean these guys, these are beginners uh, Rob, you know the intensity of a walkout in a venue like this saps your energy and fighting like this in the very first round um, is ferocious for your cardio. Uh, it, but anybody who's never grappled doesn't know how much it drains you. But these guys here flailing around like this, it, it's ferocious. So he tries to pass the guard but ends up back to his feet. Ashley widens his base. Good knee from Sell. Yeah, Ashley there grimaced when that first knee landed. And as I say, you, you, they're already feeling the pace of this. These are three minute rounds, amateur rules for our preliminary fights. I mean, the one big difference for amateurs is that they wear slightly more padded gloves. Ashley firing away to the body. Look like tired punches though, Grant. Yeah, I was gonna say they're lacking in power. And work rate doesn't mean much unless it's effective. It's something you learn with experience. Use your energy efficiently. 
be the more efficient fighter. You can land fewer shots, but if they're more effective, they're the ones that are going to win you the fight. And the pace now has slowed right down. Good work, good takedown, nice little trip there. Sell looks to roll over and take his opponents back. Yeah, he can do it from this position, nope. Ends up in the bottom on guard. He needs that left underhook, I can't see from this position. Yeah, he has got it. Ashley top position now. Look to posture up and possibly strike. No, last 10 seconds, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna wait these last few seconds out, trust me. Now, they will go back to their corners for some much-needed gasps of air. So Ashley Beeden looking the worst for Wales as we come into the second grant. Hands on his knees. Sell's got some lovely control with these takedowns. He got knee on belly now. He wants to pass that guard. Ashley trying to crawl to his knees, trying to. Ashley there with the old side headlock, <laughs> but it was very effective. Works himself to mount position. Sell in trouble, eating a lot of shots. The referee's looking on closely. He's going to give his back to get out of that ground and pound position. Ashley firing away, Sell looks to be in trouble, makes it to his knees. And Ashley needs to get that right, uh, right hook in. He hasn't got either hook in. No, this will allow Sell to be able to shake him off. Sell using the cage there to get up, that was a bit cheeky. Ashley's expended an awful lot of energy. I'm surprised there. He had the back of Sell Harriet, but he didn't capitalise on it. Sell drives forward. And Sell passes. Takes mount position. Sell needs to get into a position where he can strike. Ashley giving his back again. Sell needs to get that left, left hook in. Seems to be working that arm. He's going for an arm bar. Gets it nice and straight. Just well, needs to get the angle right. He needs to, he needs to t put his right shoulder towards the mat. Ashley turning. Well, he's also using the cage to get out of the position. What a strange set of affairs, Rob. Yeah, so unable to just lock that armbar in. Ashley working his arm free. Cell turns. He's got to have it from this position he's or a got triangle. The triangle yeah. now, Grant. But he needs to move his hips over to this other side. He does just a slight adjustment the other way. He's not going to have enough time. Nope. Saved by the well, bell. Well, he was opening it up already. But and you can criticise these fighters, Rob, for not capitalising on these submissions. But, you know, they're in the early days of their careers. They can probably smash these subs out in the gym, left, right and centre. It's a different ball game. So Ashley breathing deep. It's been a tough, tough two rounds. So fire shots, very weak. See the power's gone. Both fighters extremely tired, clearly visible. And it can get very untidy when, when fighters are completely exhausted. Their work gets sloppy. Steps into mount. But Sell Harriet there, he's still got the mindset 
He's hooked the legs there to prevent Ashley from turning. Makes it very difficult to bridge out of this position. So with a nice it's, little clip It's in, right? so difficult in a position like this, Rob, when you're absolutely exhausted, you do still try and find one or two seconds to, to rest just for one extra breath. So needs to push down on the elbow. Just not quite getting it, caught in that side headlock. Old schoolboy technique. So now looking to take the back of his opponent. One arm's in, but not quite under. Now, get that other hook in. He's got both hooks in, he's flattened him out. So, he needs to scoop an arm under his neck. I think we might just have got one inside. Well, if I'm honest, it's quite frustrating to watch. He should be ripping Ashley Beden's neck off by now. The referee has stood them up. And that would be very, very controversial for anyone who's got any level of BJJ for someone to take someone's back and have their hooks in. But he was not capitalising on the position. So I don't think that was a bad call to stand them up. Ashley firing away with what energy he's got left. The little gas that's in the tank. Now he gets the takedown. Sal Harriet with a sort of guillotine. Last 10 seconds and them two, both those guys will be chuffed to hear that sound, I reckon, Grant. Well, they'll learn, they'll both have learned more from this fight than all the training they've done to date. And that's the trouble with experience. It's the exam you take before the lessons. If you think you want to fight in a cage, please speak to any of these two young men and they will tell you how hard it is for their first fight in the cage. Give a massive round of applause. Wow, well done, boys. I can feel their pain. <laughs> Do you remember that long ago, Dave? So long ago. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Our judges score this bout. Judge number one, 30, 27 for Beaton. Judge number two, 29, 28 for Harriet. And judge number three, 29, 28 for your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, Sam Harriet. And let's hear it for his opponent, Ashley Beaton. Wow. Sal, I know you're not going to be able to say too much. But judging by Ash, judging by yourself, that is true warriors right here in a cage. And I know both of you go back training harder, faster. No doubt you'll both meet again one day. Who would you like to say thank you to? Oh, thank you to all my team, all my people that came out. Love. All love. All love. I'm going to have a drink. You win a sale! <laughs>